sports. It's in the game. Hello, I'm Bob Jenkins for EA Sports, coming to you from Hampton, Georgia, home of the Atlanta Motor Speedway. Looking at the track layout, the 24-degree bank turns make this a very fast track for its distance. The drivers will no doubt be looking for passing opportunities on the long and ever-inviting back straightaway. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Bob Jenkins for EA Sports, coming to you from the granddaddy of super speedways, Darlington Raceway. Thousands of South Carolina race fans are on hand to watch this round of the NASCAR Championship Racing Challenge. Turns 1 and 2 are tight, but turn 4 is what makes this track considered too tough to tame. We'll look for many drivers to earn their Darlington stripe today. 50 years ago, Bill France said, I'm faster than you and I can prove it. NASCAR is born. They race on sand, dirt, asphalt, anywhere they can draw a finish line. 100 miles turns into 200, 200 into 500. Cars get more powerful, more aerodynamic, and faster, frighteningly faster. The competition is close, sometimes too close. Trading position means trading paint. Turns become steeper, top speeds higher, knuckles wider. Drivers find new ways to win, check that, endure. Drafting becomes essential, the slingshot an art form. It's brother versus brother, Chevy versus Ford, the king versus history, everyone versus the law of physics. And with each passing season, the fans grow hungrier. Their support verging on worship. A new generation of heroes emerges. We see their faces on TV, t-shirts, trading cards, video games. Some are deified, others vilified. Everyone gets in on the action. Corporations, movie stars, Molly Hatchet. The winners get cups, champagne, cereal sponsors. The losers get towed. But when you get right down to it, none of this really matters. Because I'm faster than you, and I can prove it. Just give me a car and a shot at the check flag and I can prove it. NASCAR 98, 50 years in the making. If it's in the game, EA Sports, it's in the game. Good afternoon and welcome to Texas Motor Speedway. I'm Bob Jenkins for EA Sports coming to you from Fort Worth, Texas with round three of the NASCAR Championship Racing Series. Let's take a look at this beautiful all-new state-of-the-art racetrack. The one and a half mile oval track offers long straightaways and awesome bank turns of 8 to 24 degrees. Welcome to the Volunteer State and beautiful Bristol Motor Speedway. I'm Bob Jenkins for EA Sports and we're here for round four of the NASCAR Championship Racing Series. This short track features straightaways of 650 feet and corners that offer 36 degrees of banking. Drivers must be careful this track holds the NASCAR record with 23 cautions in one race. Valuable championship points are at stake here. Drivers must finish the race at whatever the cost. Greetings, I'm Bob Jenkins for EA Sports and welcome to Salt Basin International Raceway near beautiful Salt Lake City, Utah. Today's event, the Salt Flat 400, is round five of this year's NASCAR Championship Racing Series. As we look at the track layout, race fans will enjoy watching the drivers put their skills to the test on this quick road course that features long straightaways and gentle turns. Hello, I'm Bob Jenkins for EA Sports, coming to you from Northern California, home of Sears Point International Raceway. The wine country serves as a beautiful backdrop for round six of the NASCAR Championship Racing Series. As we look at the track layout, pay particular attention to the turn six carousel and the two hairpins, turn seven and 11. Any speed lost in these corners will be almost impossible to recover. Good afternoon, I'm Bob Jenkins for EA Sports, reporting from Charlotte Motor Speedway, the mecca of motorsports, with round seven of the NASCAR Championship Racing Series and the Coca-Cola 600. Charlotte is the longest race in the series. Driver endurance and car reliability are essential to running a competitive race. Good afternoon, I'm Bob Jenkins for EA Sports, coming to you from Ashland, Oregon and Pine Ridge Raceway. We're here today for the inaugural running of the Stormfront 400, which is round eight of the NASCAR Championship Racing Series. This is a road course featuring change in elevation and tight blind turns. Only drivers with a good sense for this track will finish well on this daunting road course. 
Greetings and welcome to Michigan Speedway. I'm Bob Jenkins for EA Sports, bringing you today's round of the NASCAR Championship Racing Series. The wide racing surface and 18-degree banking allows for the exciting style of racing. The three and four abreast racing action on the straightaways are legendary and where champions are made. Hello, I'm Bob Jenkins for EA Sports, and welcome to round 10 of the NASCAR Championship Racing Series. We're coming to you live from Fontana in Southern California, home of the California Speedway. This is NASCAR's newest facility and promises to be one of the showcases on the circuit for years to come. The D-shaped track boasts three levels of banking, making for some exciting racing action. Hello everyone, I'm Bob Jenkins for EA Sports. We're coming to you today from Willow Lane Raceway in Charleston, South Carolina with today's round of the NASCAR Championship Racing Series and the Press Start 300. As we look at the track layout, we can see this track offers a daunting combination of high-speed straightaways and gentle chicanes that will challenge even the very best of the drivers. Welcome to today's round of the NASCAR Championship Racing Series coming to you live from the Pocono Speedway. Hi everyone, I'm Bob Jenkins for EA Sports and we're here today in Long Pond, Pennsylvania for the running of today's exciting event. Pocono is often referred to as the speedway that drives like a road course. Pocono's unique two and a half mile tri-oval features three turns, each with a different degree of banking, and three straights, each with a different length. This allows for some spectacular 200 mile per hour slingshots on the long straightaways. Good afternoon everyone, I'm Bob Jenkins for EA Sports coming to you from Watkins Glen International. We're here with today's round of the NASCAR Championship Racing Series. As we look at the track layout, we see that the drivers will be challenged by two high-speed straightaways and seven hard right turns within the track's 11 corners. It's obvious why this course has a well-deserved reputation as one of the toughest on the circuit. Hello, I'm Bob Jenkins for EA Sports and welcome to Cedar Woods Raceway for today's round of the NASCAR Championship Racing Series in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. As we look forward to today's event, let's take a look at the track layout. This course has something for every style of driver. The key to winning here is being able to balance aggressive driving tactics on the straightaways and finding the best racing line to successfully maneuver through its many curves. A big hello from Talladega Super Speedway in Talladega, Alabama. I'm Bob Jenkins for EA Sports with round 15 of the NASCAR Championship Racing Series. As we check out the layout of this Super Speedway, we see a dynamic trioval that allows for some of the top speeds on the circuit. Every driver knows that the key to success here is simple. Don't get caught out of the draft. Hello and welcome to Ranch Tower International Speedway located near Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. I'm Bob Jenkins for EA Sports bringing you today's round of the NASCAR Championship Racing Series. Looking at the track layout, we can see plenty of opportunities for the drivers to reach top speeds on the straightaways and long sweeping corners, but beware of the tight chicanes. Hello and welcome to Suzuka City, Japan for today's running of the NASCAR Championship Racing Series. I'm Bob Jenkins with thousands of eager race fans on hand at the Suzuka Circuit. This is the final stop in this year's series, so get ready for some racing excitement. Let's take this opportunity to check the track layout. The drivers will be running on a narrow 1.4 mile road course that should offer quite a test to our drivers who are more accustomed to the wide open tracks found in the United States. Hello, I'm Bob Jenkins for EA Sports, coming to you from Hampton, Georgia, home of the Atlanta Motor Speedway. Looking at the track layout, the 24-degree bank turns make this a very fast track for its distance. The drivers will no doubt be looking for passing opportunities on the long and ever-inviting back straightaway. Hello, I'm Bob Jenkins for EA Sports, coming to you from Hampton, Georgia, home of the Atlanta Motor Speedway. The 24-degree bank turns make this a very fast track for its distance. The drivers will no doubt be looking for passing opportunities on the long and ever-inviting back straightaway. Hello, I'm Bob Jenkins for EA Sports, welcoming you to Hampton, Georgia, home of the Atlanta Motor Speedway with the first round of the NASCAR Championship Racing Series. Looking at the track layout, drivers will be challenged by a new track configuration this season. The 24-degree bank turns make this a very fast track for its distance. The drivers will no doubt be looking for passing opportunities on the long and ever-inviting back straightaway. 
Hello, I'm Bob Jenkins for EA Sports, coming to you from Hampton, Georgia, home of the Atlanta Motor Speedway. The 24-degree bank turns make this a very fast track for its distance. The drivers will no doubt be looking for passing opportunities on the long and ever-inviting back straightaway. Good afternoon, I'm Bob Jenkins for EA Sports, reporting from Charlotte Motor Speedway, the mecca of motorsports, with Round 7 of the NASCAR Championship Racing Series. Charlotte is the longest race in the series. Driver endurance and car reliability are essential to running a competitive race. Congratulations, you play second in this year's NASCAR Championship Series. Only the top drivers on the circuit today can claim to be your match. Hello and welcome to Suzuka City, Japan for this year's finale of the NASCAR Championship Racing Series. I'm Bob Jenkins for EA Sports. We have thousands of eager race fans on hand for the running of the Thunder Special 100. This is the final stop in this year's series, so get ready for some racing excitement. Let's take this opportunity to check the track layout. The drivers will be running on a narrow 1.4 mile road course that should offer quite a test to our drivers who are more accustomed to the wide open tracks found in the United States. Congratulations, you've got a third place finish in this year's NASCAR Championship Series. Congratulations, you have won this year's NASCAR Championship Series. Only the very best drivers are crowned with the NASCAR Championship title. Congratulations, your hard-fought battles throughout the racing season has earned you the title of NASCAR Champion.